So here is my duck pond and my ducks. I know I had questions about how I did it. I'm not going to give you a parts list and all that kind of stuff. I'm just going to try to be conceptual about it, show you what I did, possibly interject some of the things that I learned and went, hmm, that was a poor choice. But um, here we go. What I did is I already broke it down because I wanted to clean it. I'll show you what I mean, but I figured putting it back together will show you where I'm at, how I did it. Like I said, I'm going to put it back together. This is an old piece of drain pipe that I actually used Gorilla waterproof tape to put it into my party bucket. That's the bottom half of another party bucket because when I bought them they were like seven bucks and I don't really care. The inlet for the water outlet. Built a little stand for my thing. Let's put this thing together. All right, guys, here we go. I just got a standard kind of uh, party tub here. I bought two of them, like I said before, you know, because they're cheap. Um, my inlet, what I did was I cut off the bottom of the other one and put a lot of holes. The idea is to be able to get a lot of this water to come through and it's not being filtered yet because in my pipe, it'll go down from the top flow out here. The angles are so it can swirl and that works with my outlet that I use to actually drain off some of the muck at times and ask questions anytime. So I'm going to set it up so it sets down in here. Kind of flat. Put it in just like that. I got a little bit of a standoff from the bottom. It's probably two, two and a half inches. Doesn't really matter. This is where I get the scrunchy balls or whatever. The I got them all at the dollar store. It's for taking a shower and stuff. And that's these. So you don't have to pack it in. Just throw them all in. Make sure you're covered all our holes. All our holes are covered. Looks pretty good. Groovy. Easy, right? Right. This material is general. It's a non-specific. It's a filter material for air filters that I got at Home Depot. Cut it in a circle and it splits so it fits over. All the scraps from making my circles, I just kind of work it around so that I can cover up any gaps, spaces, things like that. Again, I'm not packing it in, just laying them in so it has good coverage all the way around. You know, and this isn't scientific. This is, you know, just put the stuff in there to your OCD. Pretty quick and easy, relatively. Put it down. Now I did a second one on top because you'll see why. I get a little split. Not a big deal. Spread it out so that better to have a little bit of overlap. I made a mistake on the next set of medium. The medium that I'm putting in there, 
it can be pumice or something like that, but it's got to be a porous kind of rock so that this bacteria actually sticks to it and colonizes. So you got to have a lot of surface area. I keep this relatively close in the middle. I cleaned all this stuff, so, well, relatively. My other mistake was I used granulated, and rocks are better. Again, the whole idea is more surface area for the bacteria to stick to. You don't have to go OCD, but you know, try to get it out there like that. Nice and even coverage. Next thing. Green scratch pads, scotch pads, whatever you call them. Again, Dollar Tree. I'm not going to tell you how many because I built it and I don't know how many I have. So I'll show you the first layer and then I'll put all the rest in um, after, and yeah, cut it up. Start inside or out, doesn't matter. I like to overlap them a little bit by going to corner to corner, kind of like that. The idea again is to try to cover your holes so that as much water is going through the filter medium. So you see I did the first one. Now I'm going to go in the centers of the others and roll it all the way around. I'll finish this layer and then we'll cut to where I'm going to the next process or spot, whatever you call it. It doesn't matter. It's not highly technical. These things were really gunked up. You'll see if you do something similar. Now this is after two months of not being cleaned and that's where I decided to go ahead and do my thing. So you see I have the second layer. I'm going to cut and uh, finish this then we'll go to the next part. So I alternated inside and outside as I laid these down inside outside and you know this layer then that layer then that layer then that layer then that layer. You have an odd amount, it doesn't matter. You ain't gotta go crazy. Again, you ain't gotta mash them down. Just make sure that you put them in so that you cover every bit of holes because this medium, the water's gonna be coming up through this medium. And the whole idea is to just catch the, the crap. So a lesson I learned is that I'm putting rocks in here to weigh it down, keep them in place. But before I loaded this thing out and it actually compressed most of my material and I was having it back up through this inlet pipe. You'll see what the inlet pipe is when we I put it back together in the other place. But just enough to put it down. Now this is the experimental part. You got to figure it out for yourself. I'm not sure, you know, I can't give you formulas and stuff like that, but I'm sure there are people out there that can. But that ain't me. So just put them in, make sure the medium stays down. It doesn't pop up on me. Because you're gonna have water it's going to be forced up from the bottom through all this medium. I just put them in here. Kind of. I mean, again, if you're looking for an exact how-to, I ain't got it. Sorry. Can't do it. So, that's it. I mean, I'm going to put this thing in. Um, the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to put my uh, pump bag together so that that keeps the crap in the pool like the big stuff from choking my uh, my pump out so guys I have a hundred gallon pond um, and questions were asked about a pump leave that on there or pause it or whatever it's awesome the neighbors decide to use the machine right now but there it is but that's what I got that. I got that from the pond guy. Um, the next thing is I'll show you what, how I keep it from getting junk from inside the pool into the pump and stopping it up. And there's the pipe, of course. So this is a pump screen that I got from the <laughs> pond guy. It's got a bag and a little mesh 
type of thing that goes inside. The bag has a drawstring. It wasn't great for me because I couldn't get it tight enough to keep trash from going inside. So I actually just did my own thing. I'm going to put this together because all this goes in the bag. Then I'm going to show you what my, pro my solution was. So this was called the Pond Buddy. It's actually like a cylinder with that material. I put it all together and you actually put your pump inside and like I said it has a drawstring that draws it all up but it doesn't seal as well for me so I used a laundry bag that's a lot bigger I put everything in there and then I'll zip tie it shut and I'll show you that in a second so it's in the bag this laundry bag if you're looking for it in a store it's actually for intimates. Um, you put them in there so that bras and stringy stuff doesn't get all bound up in the dryer and or the washer. It's got a zipper top. Not perfect for my application, but my pump will go inlet right in the bag like that. Of course, my tube is not cooperating. Pull it up pretty high on the tube. Gather it along with the cord. And I zip tie it pretty high because this bag may get sucked into the inlet and actually slow it down. So there it is. It's zip tied. I use you can use a pipe clamp, but I use a, a zip tie because honestly, when I go to change this out, I'm not interested in doing screwdrivers and all kinds of craziness. This does just fine for what I want it to do. So got it zip tied. Really? This is all I do. Drop it right in wherever I can. I try not to put it in the way of the ducks or the anything like that, but you know, this is what I got. So the inlet tube, it's not pretty, but I can, I'm working on it. Goes into the side of my barrel. Just like that. So I don't have a whole lot of tension on it, but that works. All right, guys, it's time to put the bucket in. Um, if you remember, I told you about the the drain spot with the Gorilla Goo Grew water tape thing. It actually affords me the flexibility to get it into that hole because I have a downward angle on the drain pipe. You'll see. Put the water pipe out of the way. Water drain in. Slide it in. Without dumping everything. Nice and flush because it's a barrel. Inlet, put a notch back here so that I can feed this in. Like that. We're in. Inlet into the pipe. That's about it. And then on the back side, just as a cool thing because that's my door and we see the hole that long black tube my drain tube it's all gravity fit 
through the hole. Swing. side, clip on the other side, then I coil the hose up fairly neatly like this because again it's physics. You put the hose downhill, it drains. Put it uphill, not going to drain. The only thing left to do is plug it in. And of course, it's got to fill the tank, but you don't have to prime the pump in the pool. It's going to start pushing water right away and filling up our party tub until it gets to the point where it's going to start coming out. What are you doing, BP? Yeah, I hear you. And we have water. That aerates the pool and allows oxygen to get into the water. That helps the two fish that are in there. That helps the water quality. And I'm going to throw in one more thing. Now, according to the specs, I don't have to do this all the time, but because I drained everything out and I basically washed it. I know it's backwards, but I grab one of these. Chip, what are you doing? Chip, what are you doing? Ow! He's pretty ornery. He wants me to throw him in the pool. So, let's see. Seriously, Chip. Okay, you ready? Oh, I gotcha. Ready? Whoop. There you go. Good job, Chip. So these, that's it. It dissolves, it's pet friendly, it's all completely natural, good stuff. So, hope it helped. See you later, Chip. Twinkie, Beep Beep, Cadillac, uh, Shiny, Little, and Tank. And that was Chip biting on me, right there, the jerk.